Welcome back. Now in sports, the national men's football team leaves the country tomorrow as the Solomon Islands Football Federation confirms the final travelling squad today. Martin Taramane reports. Four changes made to the Solomon Islands national men's football team for next week's FIFA World Cup qualifying matches with New Caledonia and Papua New Guinea. Head coach Joe Smith on Monday had a session with the players at the King George VI East End Sports Stadium as preparations for these two matches continued in Honiara. After last month's defeat to Fiji, Coach Smith had called a 30-man training squad into camp and now is left with 23 players following two and a half weeks in camp. Omitted from the final travelling squad are John Orobulu, Calvin Ohasio, Jared Rongsulia and Ali Mekawe. Familiar faces of Philip Mango, Alwin Ho, Michael Lealafa, Atkin Kawa, Javin Wai, Rafael Leai, William Komasi, Junior David, Leon Kofana, David Super, Carlos Leo Masia and Bobby Leslie remains in the current 23-man squad. We are in terms of preparation, before after first game, long fella. compared to first preparation, this one is much more uh, well prepared than the first one. We are looking a uh, young team, but in terms of preparation, we have try for step them step up more at uh, especially the fitness level and also uh, conditioning your cycle gym and uh, other trainings that they require also. And we have, we have to push them up uh, intense training because we really like them too for winning to follow game too. So in terms of preparation, yeah, we have looking very good, uh, do, uh, doing okay low preparation. Real Kakamura FC defender Vincent Luiga and Australia-based Rovu Boyas are called up to the final squad, while former national players Michael Bosso and Junior Fordley are recalled to the lineup. I feel very happy. Um, me excited because of some experience with Holland. Me willing for them put him into practice low them squad and then first time really me open to it and everything. Me being in Sydney, me look for club, but season finish. So coach him tell me if I come training, then have a look at me now because I'm saying name blow me and things. So they know me fly come now, then we come training first two, three days and coach him so I'm happy. So we continue to train with them team no more, then him flow now this time. Oh me looking big potential, um, especially diversity inside. Hot boys are willing for put him hundred effort and also me trust him to coach him. Coach him vision blame long term, short term but hundred percent then I'm also push him every young boys and every also boss so out the out out all the so on yeah, income experience and talk, you know, give communication and that one but add up for the young players and especially me too, me humble enough for awesome. I mean all anywhere yet, so I'm not good thing about them squad them look forward for them too. Yeah, I mean some stage let's stage yeah, got stuck out exposure lamp, people watch, you know, or some or big leagues, you know, it's on a big tournaments and national team is one for a place where you know platform where some players are excel and you know everyone give hundred percent. So me look forward for now, qualifiers. Eh? At least for me putting myself out there and representing myself and family and me, no more west. <laughs> uh, fans no more, please support me for the boys. Me for go out for representing me, me everyone, not for me for Seleva, but uh, country as a whole. Just need him prayers be for no more. And also support me for two team this whole campaign for two games. Is. National team, meanwhile, will leave the country tomorrow for a final week-long camp in Papua New Guinea before their two FIFA World Cup qualifying matches next week. Martin Taromane, Tavoli Sports. And more athletes go through induction this week at the Solomon Islands Institute of Sports, Sinus. Going through the induction process now gives access to athletes to utilize the high performance facilities. Members of the Solomon Islands Rugby 7 squad, the Volleyball Federation, weightlifting and bodybuilding athletes went through phase two and three sessions that cover well-being and lifestyle performance. Having gone through the induction program, athletes not only use the facilities, but also are able to access various services and programs offered. As respective federations continue to host competitions and training programs, there is also a reminder of the Pacific Mini Games, which will be held in Palau from June 29th to July 9th, 2025. Sporting bodies and athletes that will be competing are encouraged to submit team long lists early. 
The National Olympic Council of Solomon Islands makes this call out for better organizing and logistics leading up to the event. There will be 12 sporting bodies participating in next year's mini games. That's archery, athletics, baseball, basketball three on three, judo, swimming, table tennis, triathlon, va'a, volleyball, both indoor, beach, and weightlifting and wrestling. This is important for federations to plan, prepare their athletes, finalize selections to avoid last minute preparation and disappointment. And that also concludes our Tavuli News Bulletin for today. If you have a story you wish to share or an event that is worth sharing, send us an email. That's newsdesk at tavulinews.com.sb. I'm Lisa Alsi Fellow. Thanks for joining us.